Sub YouTube, Sid. Oh, lucky here. And today we have another incredible part of our fifty thousand dollar collection sent by Kaiba himself. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Um, so real quick, you guys, I wanted to mention that a lot of these packages sent in uh, for the fifty thousand dollar collection are a bit randomized. And so I real quick wanted to ask you guys to post in the comments below. If you guys would like to kind of open up these randomized boxes with me, or if you would like me to organize them first and then just go over them in different videos. So let me know in the comments below because the reason I would leave them in boxes is because it's kind of exciting just to see what comes out of it because I have no idea because they're just in a whole bunch of, uh, you know, priority mail U.S. Postal Service boxes. So it's, it's, uh, it's very intriguing just to get one of those boxes and pop it open. So maybe we could open up like a few of those per episode or something of this. And I think that'd be pretty entertaining. Or I could organize it for you guys and we can kind of go through it because that'd still be fun as well. So let me know in the comments below. All right, you guys. So this time we're doing more. So this is actually it for the binders because I believe he stopped doing binders and he sent it in boxes after because it was probably more expensive to send his binders and just inconvenient because also the cards could get damaged. So... He sent in boxes after this. So the last binders we have, you guys, are GX binders. Then they're insane. Pretty intense. And uh, it's pretty exciting because he also said he put some of the singles with other cards or other boxes as well, which I don't even know where they're at. But uh, so this might not be it for the GX singles, but this is pretty freaking epic, you guys. Like these sets here are, are awesome. So this is just like the first, I think, eight or six GX sets. And I just wanted to show you guys the power within these binders because it is awesome. So this will finish up the binders, I guess, segment of this uh, of the $50,000 collection, and then we'll go from there. And before we get right into going through the binders, you guys, just want to do a quick shout out for Simply Pokemon. Um, we just created one of a few epic openings on there. It's the Premium Trainers X and Y collection. I mean, all openings on there are epic, but... And so I just wanted to show it real quick, the awesomeness that came in that thing. It comes with the, uh, the N and the Shaman. I don't know if you guys have seen this. That deck box came in there as well. But yeah, so you guys go please check out that video if you have the chance because it was freaking incredible. Simply Pokemon, we're posting new videos on there every other day. And of course, Simply Yu-Gi-Oh! every day. I'll put a link at the top of the description below. Alright you guys, first binder. Let's do this. We'll start with RDS, Rise of Destiny. So here we go. And the lighting might not be the best, you guys, but once again... Um, the reason I've kind of been slowing down on posting these 50k episodes is because I'm creating, we're creating a new intro and then I'm setting up a studio space to where we can have epic lighting for going over through these cards. So I'll show you guys soon. It's going to be awesome. All right. So first binder here is uh, Rise of Destiny. And then, you know, this is the set you guys. And once again, I'm going to take my time with these videos because this is like memory lane for me. So I don't know about you guys, but it's it's awesome. One of the main reasons, you guys, that I purchased this $50,000 collection is for the nostalgia. To bring you guys this classic, epic content that you're not going to see very often. It's truly extraordinary to me, at least, to go through some of this stuff. Especially because it's what I grew up with. And it's so hard to find nowadays. So it's truly, truly exciting to go through this, you guys. So let's do it. Alright, you guys. So RDS... The set with Dekoichi, the battle locomotive. Um, you can see Deco Bokoichi, the frightening car right there. Harpy's Girl, the uncensored version. You always got to take a look at that, right? So this is the, uh, the printing without the spandex, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Very cool. Oh, is there two sets of this? It's always fun when there's two sets to mess around with. And the Almighty Creator, first edition, you guys. So it looks like he put the ultimate rares on this side and then the regular ultra or the regular rare on the back. Creator ultimate rare. That is so cool. Insect level three ultimate down there. And then of course the silent swordsman level three. <laughs> so freaking awesome. I love it. So on this side, there's the silent swordsman level six. That wasn't an ultimate there. The level three again. Oh baby, over here we have the Perfect Machine King Ultimate Rare. How cool is that? Too cool. Okay, I just want to take out a few of these. 
perfect machine king and the creator wow rds ultimate rare first edition mint condition once again these cards have not been played with they've been put in the binder and then on this page we have thessalos the firestorm monarch raging flame sprite over there you guys remember that card attacks directly gets bigger and bigger and bigger one of the cool uh, level area limit or gravity bind cards to mess around with. Pitch Black Warwolf. Got all the Warwolves. Nightmare Penguin. Mirage Dragon. Oh, there he is. Dekoichi the Battle Enchanted. Locomotive. There we go. Um, yeah, I remember this Ultimate Rare was so valuable for a quick minute because it was just in every single deck. It was just so powerful. The fact that it's dark. So you can use it in your Chaos decks. Um, back in the day, I'm talking about. And the fact that it's a 1400 attack, 4 star monster. That's that's pretty insane. And of course, the flip effect of replacing itself, drawing you a card. And you can always play B Bokoichis to draw some more. Truly an awesome card. Uh, Fusler Dragon, the dual mode beast ultimate rare. That's sweet. Along with Dark Blade. Some of these ultimate rare rares, you know. Gaia Soul over there. A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. Moki Moki King. Nice. Oh, it's on this side. Oh, on this side we got uh, Big Cores over at the top over there. And then on the... Ooh! The Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Ultimate Rare First Edition. Necklace of Command. Machine Duplication. That's, got to, that's probably still pretty valuable today. Whoa. Wow. First Edition Mint Condition... Machine dupe. Oh, snap. Flint, and of course, the monster reincarnation first edition ultimate. Man, I have not... I don't think I've ever held a mint one of these before. That is sweet. Discard one card from man, add any monster from your grave to your hand. Awesome. Moki Moki Smackdown, back to square one. A lot of popular cards in here. What, what happened with Rise of Destiny is that it was overprinted. They created way too much of it, first edition. So there was like first edition Rise of Destiny cards all over the place. Because was Rise of Destiny? No. Soul of the Deuce was before Rise of Destiny. I just remember like Rise of Destiny first edition cards, I don't know if you guys have noticed, or first edition packs are in like a ton of sealed product or were in a ton of sealed product. And I think Rise of Destiny first edition boxes for a minute there, um, I remember like even Troll and Toad, I bought like 20 of them from Troll and Toad. They had them at like 30 or $40. It was like crazy. These boxes were so cheap. Even now, they're probably like sixty to eighty dollars. I think I'm not too sure, but um, just the fact. And once again, you guys, we're talking about a lot of value when it comes to this kind of collection, and it's just the fact that it was printed so much. And it's funny as time goes on. Of course, they'll get more and more rare, but people were just overloaded with them. Very nice. Divine Wrath Ultimate Rare. That's sweet. Tragedy, Rare Metal Morph, Mine Hacksaws. Harpy's Hunting Ground was over there. Um, got the Chain Burst. Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment. Covering Fire. Fu Rin Kazan for your 6 Samurai decks. Uh, Diffusion Wave Motion and Judgment of Anubis. Along with... Ooh, Vampire Lord and Dark Magician Girl. For the... Um, what's it? The Special Edition cards. Ooh, man. Look at that. The Dark Magician Girl Ultra Rare. You don't see that every day. Nice. That's a, took out a ton of cards from RDS. Freaking awesome set, you guys. Okay. Next binder. Here we go. TLM. The Lost Millennium. Rise of Destiny and the Lost Millennium. Okay, so starting it off, of course, you guys, this is your Elemental Hero set. You got your Wingman and your Burstinadrix, Clayman, Sparkman. Also got your Ancient Gears. So, probably, he's probably, looks like he's missing a good amount of these Ultimate anyways. So yeah, Ancient Gear Golem, man, first edition Ultimate Rare Ancient Gear Golem. That is actually one of the more valuable GX cards, now that I think about it. Wing Karibo. Um, Let's see over here. A ton of Ultimate Rares. Mega Rock. Grave Oja, uh, Ultimate Insect Level 7, Heroes, Heroes, yeah, the Sphinx. <laughs> and uh, on this side, looks like he's missing a couple as well. Master Monk over there. Always wanted to play those cards when I was a kid, but just didn't really ever happen. 
Looks like DD Survivor and Mid Shield Gardener are missing. Oh, snap! Ultimate Rare Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Woo! Mint Condition. Holy crap. And an Ultimate Rare Thunder Freaking Giant. Freaking PSA graded, you guys. The value of these things is incredible. Remember, graded. We're going to be talking about that a lot for classic stuff. But, like, if you got, like, a PSA 10, a grade 10 on these, it'd be... It's extraordinary, the value of these cards. Wow. That is awesome. Elements are your Flame Wingman, Ultimate, and Thunder Giant. First edition. Got a Reshef over there, the Dark Being. Oh, man. That is too cool. Actually, I gotta take another look. I don't think I've ever had Ultimate Rare Mint conditions of these before. They are absolutely awesome. <laughs> so cool. Very valuable cards. Cards of Sanctity up there. Too bad it's not both players draw until they have six cards. <laughs> oh, man. That would be a very valuable Ultimate Rare. Oh, Brain Control. That's what goes right there. Brain Control. Uh, pretty epic ultimate nitro unit hero signal pickers pickers second sight impenetrable formation um, and over here token festival ultimate royal surrender the end of Anubis and Mazra Deville Wow the lost millennium it's been a while yeah so that's the brain control set what do we got here this is POTD POTD, that's the green set. The green set is... <laughs> Patrician of Darkness. <laughs> POTD. Dang it, Power of the Duelist? Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is your Neo set. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Do not do that. I almost hurt the elemental heroes. Alright. Um, yeah, we got Neos over there. Doesn't look like there's ultimates in here though. But just to give you guys an idea of the set, because it looks like it's a complete set without ultimates. The Aqua Dolphin. Double Dude. Double Dude, man. Dogma. Defender. People like messing around with that guy. Dasher and Prancer and Vixen. Ultimate Tyranno. Alien Warrior. So your alien cards, your Tyrannos. And of course your uh, Neos Elemental Heroes. Flare, Aqua, Dark. Kamir Tech Over Dragon. It's a very, very valuable Ultimate Rare as well. Um, Vehicle Roid. Did I just take it two pages there? Overload Fusion. Future Fusion. Nice. Very epic ultimate rares as well. Cropped Circles. D-Chain. Neospace. And last page has... What is this? Hobby League? This is Hobby League? Hobby League Heavy Storm. Wow. That is interesting. Just randomly in the back there. Ronnie Captain. Hobby League stuff. All right, you guys. Next binder here, CRV, uh, an extremely epic set, um, but I believe he didn't have that many CRV cards, sadly. Ultimate rares, anyways. Yeah, there's a Wing Creeper level 10 right there. Very nice. Ultra first edition cards. You gotta remember, Ultra first edition is still pretty cool, but Ultimate, of course, is definitely that extreme value. Rottweiler and UFO Roid, Cybernetic Magician, Jerry Beans Man. Jerry, a bean soldier, believes he is the strongest warrior in the world. <laughs> His abilities are still untested. Jerry Beans, man. Okay, ooh, Bubble Man over there. Uh, over there's BES Crystal Core. Goblin Attack Force. Goblin Elite Attack Force, sorry. Ebon Magician Kuran. Ooh, Cyber... So here's the Cyber Dragon. Cyber Twin Dragon and Cyber End Dragon. That kind of sucks that those are gone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that on this page? Oh, wow. Is that an Ultimate Rare First Edition Power Bond? Oh, my gosh. Holy guacamole. Uh, you, don't, you do not see this card every day, you guys. This is incredible. Ultimate Rare Power Bond. Actually an extremely valuable card, I believe. First Edition. Freaking, this whole set is ridiculous. Just the Cyber Dragons in it. Such a valuable ultimate rare set. Wow. Power bond, you guys. 
a powerful card. The Power Bond. Dragon's Mirror. Miracle Fusion and System of a Down. Jeez, no ultimates. Skyscraper. Bubble Ship. Bubble Ship. Oh, there's a Traps. Rising Energy, DD Trample, and Dimension Wall. Nice. So, Cybernetic Revolution. Oh, wow. I love how we had Power Bond and then none of the Cyber Dragons Ultimate. It's kind of funny. Okay, next we have... Oh, SOD. I guess I could have done these in order. Oh, well. Look at Kai, but he's like, hey, man. Hope you like the collection, man. Let's set those over there. Kai was looking a little flustered there. There we go. Okay. SOD. Here we go. See if there's... Ooh, looks like it's got a lot of blank spaces. That's all right. Uh, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 4. Not bad. Ooh, level 8 over there. Ultra rare. We'll just take that out, even though it's not ultimate. It's still a very sweet card, first edition. Horus the Black Flame Dragon. People loved making decks with that guy back in the day. Dark Mimic level 3 and Mystic Swordsman level 2. I'm guessing all the armed dragons are right there. Yeah, level 7. Level 4. Oh, nice ultimates over here. Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Ultimate baseball kid. Oh, I love that guy. Uh, Mobius over here, ultimate. Here, we'll take that bad boy out. Mobius Ultimate Rare First Edition. Surprisingly, I've seen a, a lot of those. One of the Monarch Ultimate Rares. Very nice. And then next we have Mind on Air Ultimate. The Masked Dragon. Sandwich. Sangin and Witch together. Makes a sandwich. The Penumeral Soldier Lady. And your enraged and noble man. Eater Bugs. Hain, 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 Hains. A level up. They should have made level up a freaking ultimate rare. Or at least a... Well, if it was rare or, it, or higher, it would be ultimate. So, yeah. Level up should have been a rare. Actoplasma Hammer Shot. Inferno Fire Blast. Oh man. That's a sweet ultimate as well. Heavy Slump. Spirit Barrier. Got the Mind Crush, the Greed, the Nolan Void. Cemetery Bomb. Classic GS Sexy. G GX sets. <laughs> Here you guys. Okay. Looks like we got a couple binders left. Let's check it out. Ooh, F-E-T. Oh, baby, one of my favorite sets. Flaming Eternity. The Divine Dragon Ragnarok. That's Phoenix right there. I know that. Too bad. Uh, level 5, level 5, and the Grand Mark, the Monarch. Since we're on a little Monarch spree here, let's take out these little shits. There we go. And Grand Mark. Come on out, buddy. Come play. Want to play a game? Okay, so got those two ultimate next at level five. There's our sacred phoenix on that side. The behemoth, the king of all animals, big tusk mammoth. We've actually opened up this set, I believe, several times on uh, Simply Unlucky. It's one of my favorite sets to open. So I just loved using the phoenix wing, sacred phoenix, the beast monsters. Look at that over here, this Gear Free, the Swords Master, first edition Ultimate Raro, frickin' baby, baby. This set's got just so many cool cards. Looks like we're missing some there. Sword Slayer, Chiron the Mage, Blast Magician. Oh, King Dragon and the Gatling Dragon. Look at this bad boy, first edition Ultimate. Very nice. Next, we got, oh, Rescue Cat, gotta remember her. You guys seeing some thunder, some lightning? Because I see a lightning vortex. Whoa. Ultimate rare first edition lightning vortex. Whew. With Regeki being played or being or being able to be played, I, I get it's not too valuable anymore. Actually, this is probably still pretty valuable, but maybe just not played as much. Lightning vortex, you guys. Discard one card from your hand, destroy all face up monsters your opponent's side of the field. It should have been destroy all face up monsters your opponent's side of the field. Because Raigeki is destroy all monsters. So it's kind of like just destroy all face up. Why you have to discard? I don't think it would have been banned. Maybe. But yeah. 
Lightning freaking vortex. That is awesome. Meteor of destruction. Spiral spear strike. Spell absorption. A lot of ultimates. Ooh, feather of the phoenix. Threatening roar. Imagine if that was an ultimate rare. Man, if they would have made that rare, woo, that'd been sweet. Um, that's a sweet picture too. Now that I think about it. the ultimate rare, would have been like okay. cross counter. Yeah, see, there's the kind of the same type of thing going on there. Uh, pole position. Assault on GHQ and Force Ceasefire. Aw, Phoenix Wing, one bless. Right there. Okay, a couple more binders, you guys. Let's finish strong. This is a pretty long video already. Yeah, get in there. Alright. Let's see. This one is EOJ. Ooh, Enemy of Justice. Another set that was overprinted first edition. Um... But very hard to pull where the Phoenix Enforcer is. That was the elemental hero, but dark. What are they called? Dark fusions? I don't know. They're like alternate fusions, I guess. Woo! This looks pretty complete. Um, Dustin Hero, Doom Lord. Dude, Diamond Dude. Dude! Diamond Dude! <laughs> Let's see. Spider Cyber Prima, Cyber Phoenix Ultimate, Dread Freaking Master. But yeah, definitely an iconic card from this set, Ultimate Rare, is Diamond Dude. He was played for a while there. Everybody knows the dude. The Diamond Dude. Dude. Okay. Next, we have Searchlights Man. Victory Viper Ultimate. The Majestic Mech Oka. Goru. Um, what else? Looks like we're missing some here. Oh, Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. That's cute. Got the avalanching, also the raging area. That was always fun. The charmers. Oh, snap, dizzle pop. Over there we had Banisher and Volantis. But here it is, you guys. Elemental hero, Phoenix Enforcer. Be careful there, kid. Okay. Ultimate rare, first edition. I believe it's mint. Near mint. Wow, also another, I mean, any of the ultimate rare, first edition, mint condition, elemental hero fusions. Wow, that is sweet. And of course, wild wingman to go with. <laughs> so cool. I love the ultimate rare on these heroes. It's really something else. Super electromagnetic Voltec Dragon. There's Hita and Win. Your battery mans. Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Oh, we're missing that guy. Hero, f Hero Flash! Clock Tower Prison. Time for the D. And, uh, looks like that's about it. Ooh, Icarus Attack. Miraculous Descent Force Back. Alright, you guys, and the last binder here. There is no name on the side. Let's check it out. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Oh! 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 Another EOJ set. Okay. Oh. This is nice. Okay, so we got another Diamond Dude. Double the Dude. Double the D. Double D. Diamond Dude. <laughs> Cyber Phoenix. Dread Master. Victory Viper. Oh, we're still missing Volantis. Oh no, this pet dragon. The baby pet dragon. Got the Herald this time. Dreadmaster. Oh man. Missing Volantis. Yeah, we still. Oh, oh, oh! The Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer Ultimate and Elemental Hero Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Okay. Oh, that is too cool. Check this out. Ultimate Rare. This is actually. Pretty valuable from what I remember as well. Shining Phoenix Enforcer. That's what I'm talking about. Another Wild Wingman too. Sweet. There's the Flash. You're a Flash. E emergency call. Time for the D. Nice. There's a Force back. No detail. Okay. Thanks for letting us know, Kaiba. Wow, you guys. So that is the GX Binders. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That was absolutely insane. Just to do a little kind of recap type deal of what we got here. Just pulled out some of the uh, the epic cards. 
Let's kind of go through them together though. So from RDS, just kind of pulled out everything cool. We have Thessalos, the creator. Perfect Machine King Ultimate. Don't forget about Dark Magician Girl. Chilling about. Monster Reincarnation. Machine Duplication. Uh, Dekoichi, the Battle Channel Locomotive. You gotta remember, you could Machine Dupe the Boikoichis. Boikoichis. And then you could draw three cards? Four cards? Yeah, with uh, Dekoichi. Combo, Wombo Combos. And then from the next sets here. Oh, wow. F.E.T. S.O.D. S.O.D. Horse, the Black Flame Dragon, level 8. Mobius, Silent Swordsman, level 5. Grandmar, Gear Freed, the Sword Master. King Dragon Ultimate. The Almighty Lightning Vortex and Power Bond. Jeez. And then last but not least, you guys. From EOJ, the Diamond Dude, the Phoenix Enforcer, the Wild Wingman. Oh, that's the Shining Phoenix Enforcer, sorry. And then last but not least, the one and only, the Elemental Hero Wingman and Thunder Giant. Talk about GX. Look at that, you guys. Absolutely incredible. Once again, all I can say is stay tuned, you guys, for more of this collection. Again, can you guys please post in the comments below? Um, if you'd like to see me kind of organize the collection more or just pop up the boxes and see what's inside uh, kind of together and make it a little more random. Because once again, I don't even know what's in what. So that'd be pretty fun. So let me know in the comments below. I mean, organizing the collection would be a little more organized. So, <laughs> But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Of course, post in the comments below on what you guys think about some of these classic GX cards as well. Maybe some of the different decks or some of the times you remember playing with these cool cards. Man, so exciting. And as always, thanks for watching and simply, oh, lucky signing out.